This is Dabu 7. It looks like big cyber attacks targeting major U.S. airports has begun. Today, they're saying these alleged hackers from within Russia that go by the name of Kilnet are claiming responsibility for targeting multiple U.S. airports and disrupting the systems in terms of air traffic control and their internal systems, all the communications. Now, they say that this did not disrupt any flights. They were able to maintain everything, stave off the attacks, so to speak, this DDoS attack, denial of public access, all this targeting multiple airports. Now, there is a list that has been put out. This may not be over with. This may continue. The list here is showing out of Chicago, O'Hare, Iowa's main airport, Kansas's main airport, Kentucky's airports out of Louisville and CBG in northern Kentucky. The, the Fly MSY site in AEX out of Louisiana. The BWI Airport out of Maryland. And some of these, I'm not sure the exact name, because they've just got a bunch of letters. I'm not sure exactly what airport that's going to be, but there's a list here that I'm going to leave below in a link, and I'm going to continue to update if we see any more of these attacks. I told you that after the Nord Stream stuff going down, you should expect something. This is kind of small. This could go large scale. This could be just the beginning of all of this. Either way, I'll keep you posted. Follow me on Twitter. Join me Monday and Friday for the live streams, 9 p.m. Eastern on Dabu 777. You'll find links below. Hit that subscribe button for more. Much love, y'all. All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ahava Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one and true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the old Flalek. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in true sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much uh, one of the dear beloved brothers of ours, um, Yanazar 144, the brother of servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp of South Carolina. Um, he put this video in the chat. So, you know, through the spirit, the Lord put the spirit on me to do a lesson on this. Now, for years, brothers that's in Great Millstone. The brother uh, Kodar Shabbat 9, all right, and other elders, starting from the elders, first and foremost, on down to those sincere brothers, have been talking about this for years, all right. And I know one video that I have been coming across for years, the brother uh, GMS Kodar Shabbat, he's, he's been talking about this for a while, you know, the, of an EMP attack happening, all right. And now it's happening, you know, they're blaming it on Russia, you know, saying that Russia has been able to do cyber attacks through the airport systems so now it's going into what it's going to go into an emp attack just like the brothers and the elders were saying first and foremost they were saying that an emp attack occurs they're going to blame it on the other countries to what for fulfill their agenda and this is exactly what they're doing all right going into what the digital currency all right they're fulfilling the digital currency to implement the MOTB all right so notice you know I'm gonna go into a particular uh, you know I'm gonna go on this website and I'm gonna look up you know on Google uh, what could happen if an EMP attack affected um, affected affected the earth or right? affected America all right and it said could an EMP attack affect all right and it says an electromagnetic pulse or EMP attack emitted by a nuclear weapon exploded high above the United States could disable electronic circuits of many devices. It says 
It says vertical to military defenses and modern living. And that modern living is what? Refrigeration, you know, to keep your food refrigerated. All right, taking hot showers, driving your mobile vehicle, being able to drive your vehicle. All right, if you got a push start, you won't be able to drive that vehicle. And it'll also affect your banking systems, your credit systems, and it'll also affect Bitcoin because that all goes on what? That all goes with electronics. All right. So it says um, these could include uh, complicated weapon systems as well as cell as phones. So if you have a cell phone, if an EMP attack happened, you're not going to be able to use your cell phone. All right. You're not going to be able to use the internet, any of that. All that's going to be shut down. All right. So that goes in with what? Famine of the word. Laptops, credit cards, and car and, and car and car computers. Because people use uh, the five G systems. You know, if you're trying to do navigation, you can literally do navigation with your uh, with your car. You know, some people have navigation in their system of their vehicle and they can give them the, uh, you know, the destination that they're trying to reach. But if an EMP attack occurs, that's going to affect everything. That's going to that's going to affect living, modern living. That's going to affect a lot. And that's going to come into what? Civil and unrest. All right. There's going to be uproars coming up. All right. This is what's going to lead into the global economic collapse which is establishing all right the new world order all right and this is mainly affecting uh this is mainly coming into affecting a uh, famine of the word all right meaning what is it going to be no more going on social media and being able to teach or going out on the highways and byways because they're already trying to get rid of that all right so this is the time that we're coming into and brothers been saying this for years, all right, starting from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, from them first and foremost on down to the sincere brothers like ourselves, we've been talking about this for years, all right. So I highly, highly recommend you to follow Great Millstone. Follow Great Millstone, learn from those men. Once you learn enough of this truth, you get six months and up, start teaching. Start teaching now. Start teaching. Because you, we don't have too much time left. Alright. We don't have too much time left. You don't have too much time left. So Lord one is this is edifying. Amos 8 and 11. It says behold the days come. saith the Lord. Power. That I will send a famine in the land. A famine in the land. Alright. Not a famine of bread. Nor a thirst for water. But of hearing the words of the Lord. Right. Because where do we hear the words of the Lord from? Where do we go and hear the word of the Lord being preached? Through the Lord's men, the prophets who are out on the street corners, who are out on the highways and byways. Those are the men that the Lord is speaking through. Those are the men that the Lord set up for you to follow. So if you're trying to seek the Lord, you have to go out to the highways and edges. All right. Or go be able to go on YouTube so you can be able to hear the word of the Lord. But there's coming a time where that is going to be unavailable. You're not going to be able to go on. If an EMP attack was to occur. You're not going to be able to go on the internet to get the truth. You're not going to be able to go on the internet to get the name of the Lord. You're not going to be able to go on the internet to get those precepts. Those breakdowns. You're not going to be able to go on the internet. If that's gone. You're not going to be able to do any of that. So you're going to be asked out. Verse 12. It says. And they shall wander from sea to sea. And this is what these uh, uh, jakes are going to wind up realizing. They're going to realize that these pastors and these uh, guys that's under the 501c3 charter, they're not the men of the Lord. They're going to realize that those men were never the men of the Lord. The men of the Lord was the whole time the men that they were speaking against. They're going to realize that everything that those men that were out there teaching that they were rebelling against and not wanting to hear was telling the truth. They're going to try to go out and seek for them and they're not going to be able to find them. All right. And this is what it's going into. Verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. Right. So they're going to go from city to city, from state to state to seek the word of the Lord. Right. And shall not find it. You're not going to be able to find it because you're going to be trying to find it. You're going to be trying to remember. Wait, what, what, wait a minute. What's that name they were calling on? You're going to try to go on the Internet and you ain't going to be able to. You're going to try to seek it. What did those men teach at? Well, didn't they used to teach on that corner over there on this street, that street? And you're going to try to go to that street where they used to teach and they're not going to be there. This is the time that we're coming into. Famine of the word is coming. All right. 
you didn't want to get the truth when you still could, right? You can now, and you ain't trying to get the truth. You want to still be in the world and still be on TikTok and be, you know, doing all this wicked shit in the world and smoking weed all day and playing a video game all goddamn day and sitting around talking about your homie about war stories you did in the past when you should be repenting and coming out of the ways of society and focusing and measuring the time diligently in itself as the scriptures say. But you don't want to, you don't want to come to the truth. You don't want to get the understanding. You want to keep being wicked. So the time is going to come where you're going to you're going to realize that you should have been coming to the truth and you're going to try to get it and it's going to be too late. That's why this is what is happening. That spiritual arc is closing. All right. Second Corinthians two and eleven. It says less. It says least Satan should get an advantage of us. Who is this talking about? Esau, Edom. All right. Satan means adversary. All right. Devil means deceiver. And who is that deceiver? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. He's that deceiver. All right. He's Satan. He's that adversary, man. All right. It says, least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We know what his agenda is. You know, we understand what his agenda is, what is his purpose is. All right. He's fulfilling his agenda. But what is the Lord establishing all of these prophecies to occur so Yahweh Shai can come back? All right, because the Lord is in control of all things. All right, so everything that's being done by Esau, all right, these these wars or rumors of war that you see are being fulfilled and established through the heavenly Father Yahweh through the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai can come back. These prophecies have to be fulfilled so Yahweh Shai come back. If these prophecies are not fulfilled, then the Lord can't come back. So this this is the hour and the times that we're coming into. The hour of temptation is coming. And we're on its way. We're right there at the door, man. We're right there, man. At that at that line, man. Right? So you want to be prayed up. You want to be embedded in the truth. All right? Because this is the times that we're coming into. Proverbs 1 and 26. It says, I also will laugh at your calamity. And what is a calamity? All right? That word calamity, an event causing great and often sudden damage or distress or disaster. Right. And that's what calamity is because the Lord is intensifying his judgment according to Achilleastes 12 and verse uh, Achilleastes 12 and uh, I think it's 12 and 1, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Measure down the time. No, not measure time to time. Just the end of so I was thinking about second address 9 and uh, 1, but it's uh, I think it's Achilleastes. 12 and 1 where it says therefore remember thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not right so you want to while the evil days come not fully in effect you want to be remembering your creator who is Yahweh Bashim Hashai but I'm not mistaken I think it's uh, uh Kiliastes 12 and 1 right and the calamity is what a disastrous event all right it says and I will mock when your fear cometh right because when the Lord had his men out and you was coming past that camp or coming past that group, all right, listening to the men of the Lord, all right, you were listening, but you wasn't fully listening. You know, you would hear something that you didn't agree with, and then you want to walk away, or you want to get boastful and try to bulk up against the men of the Lord. And you're not hurting the men of the Lord. You're hurt. You're making the Lord angry because the Lord is speaking through those men to get you on track, and you pushing the Lord away. So now when the time comes of the hour of temptation, you're going to be a bugged out individual in that time. You're not going to know what to do. This is Proverbs 1 and 27. See, and this is what we get it into. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you. Right. Because during the times of you getting the truth, you didn't you didn't want to take heed to that. You wanted to keep living your life the way you wanted to. You want to keep doing things the way you want to. You want to keep following your oppressor and taking on his philosophies. All right. That only God can judge you. You know, you can do as thou will. Only God can judge you. You have your own free will. When none of that is in the scriptures, none of that is in the scriptures, man. But you took on your oppressor's ways. So when the time comes and the hour of temptation, you're going to be a messed up individual in that time. This is when it goes again, which goes to Amos 8 and 11 through verse 12. Proverbs 1 and 28. It says, then shall they call upon me. Right. You're going to try to find the name of the Lord. You're going to try to call upon the name of the Lord. You're going to try to figure out his name and you ain't going to be able to do that because you ain't you didn't you didn't have you didn't take the time out to learn who your power was, to learn his true name, to understand who you are as an Israelite, because you so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native American Indians 
are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. But you rebelled against that to stay uh, wicked, naive. Proverbs 1 and 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. You're going to try to go to those high. You're going to try to go to those areas where those brothers were setting up camp and you're not going to be able to find them. You're going to try to go on the Internet and try to search the information up of the truth, which you could have did a long time ago. And you're not going to be able to get it because that spiritual arc is closing. That spiritual arc is closing. Jeremiah 30 and verse five. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling of fear and not of peace. We are not in the time of peace. We are not in a time of peace. You got railroad shutdowns. All right. You got railroad shutdowns. All right. You got you got nurses in the hospital that's on strike for not getting paid, uh, uh, not getting paid their overtime hours that they work. They work in 21 hours and they're getting paid regular pay. You got patients not being able to be seen by their primary doctors. You have uproars, people on strikes. You have people bugging out. You have people stressing out. There's a lot of things going on right now. You got truckers being let go. Truckers been on strike since 2020. All right. You got people that got let go off of them, off of their jobs. People are stressing out right now. People had to get let go for not taking the snake venom. You got people out here bugging out. We are not in a time of peace. We're in a time of fear. Verse six. As ye know and see whether a man do a travail with child. And that word travail, it means pain or painful efforts. And only a woman travails, not a man. Right? Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his lawns as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Right? People feeble and weak. Because you got people right now, all right? It doesn't matter. Again, like brothers say, it doesn't matter how much you're working out in the gym. It doesn't matter how, how big and swole you are. You could look like Cali Muscle, Phil Heath. You could look like any bodybuilder that you see. You can look like Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. It don't matter. If you don't have your Hawa Baha Shemya Ashai with you, you're going to be a messed up individual. Because in that time, the Lord can put the spirit on the scrawniest dude and he can knock you out in that time. So it doesn't matter on how built you are. It doesn't matter how lean, cut up you are. It doesn't matter about any of that. If you don't know the name of the Lord, your Hawa Baha you're going to be the, a messed up individual. All right. If you if you ain't got your how about Shemashar with you, you don't know his name and you didn't come to the truth like you should. You're going to be a messed up individual in that time. Verse seven, Alice, for that day is great. So there's none like it because the time that we're coming into is going to be worse than any time that you can see given in history. All right. Any time. This is going to be a global thing. Is not going to be no escape in the south and going north? Ain't going to be none of that. This is going to be global. All right. A global economic collapse, a power outage. And this, this and this power outage can't people just think a power outage when they see blackouts. Oh, it'll just be about two days, three days. No, it could be months. It could, it could go from a day to six months, seven months, eight months. All right. I've worked HOA doing security. All right. I remember there was a pipe bust in the whole entire complex. They didn't have water for three days. Two days at the latest and they were already bugging out so just imagine a person not having water in their home or anything like that for for two three days people's already fucking bugging out people probably using the restroom can't flush the toilet you got women on their menstrual cycles they can't wash themselves it's gonna bug that's gonna bug a lot of people out because the emp attack if it, it affects electricity so that means you can't keep your food refrigerated you can't take showers you can't do any of that. You can't drive your. If you got a push start vehicle, you can't drive it. You ain't gonna be able to use your cell phones. You ain't gonna be having access to your bank accounts. You're not gonna have access to your credit accounts, and you're not gonna have access to your Bitcoin accounts because they're gonna freeze all of that. That is gonna be the what the the, the hour of temptation. Because now what? Now they're gonna bring in a new system, which is the digital currency, which is the MOTB. So this is gonna bug people out. Verse seven. Verse seven. Alice for that day is great, so there's none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation. That's going to be Jacob's trouble, which will be that MOTB. But he shall be saved out of it. And that he is talking about the elect. So when you read this scripture, this isn't saying that you're going to be delivered before Jacob's trouble. This isn't saying that you're already in Jacob's trouble. No, you got to go through Jacob's trouble first before you can be saved. Daniel 12 and 1 talks about that. 
All right. So we have to go through Jacob trouble first before we can be saved. So we're not already in Jacob trouble and we're not going to be delivered before Jacob trouble. We have to go through Jacob trouble first before we can be saved. All right. So these are times that we are coming into, man. These are these these times is coming. The hour of temptation, famine of the word. All right. This is Isaiah 24 and 10. The city of confusion is broken down. Who is the city of confusion? Babylon the Great. All right. This place called America is broken down. It says every house is shut up that no man may come in. Verse 7. It says there is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. All joy is darkened. It's already the beginning of sorrows and people's bugging out on a high level. So just imagine in that time where it is an EMP attack. Just like Venezuela in the year, I think it was 2018, they didn't have power for like six months. All right. It was bugging everybody out. When the shutdown happened, when Trump was in office and he had the shutdown, it was bugging people out. People were stressing out. People couldn't do nothing. They couldn't work. They couldn't do nothing. They were quarantined. If you had COVID in that time, so like if you had anything like that, the C-19 or anything like that, you couldn't go out anywhere. You had to be quarantined for 14 days. If you was entering another state, you had to be quarantined for 14 days in that time. It was bugging people out. People couldn't go to school. People couldn't work. People couldn't do anything. It was bugging people out. So in the time that we're coming into, which is going into these cyber attacks and going into all these things, that's going to that's going to fuck up the economy when they when they do an EMP attack. So they're going to have to establish a whole new system, which is that MOTB because they're doing that. That's establishing what the new world order. And you see they're blaming it on another country just to fulfill their agenda. Esau know what he's doing. Verse 11, it says there is a crime for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The merit of the land is gone. Verse 12. In the city of it says in the city is left desolation and the great it says and, and the gate is smitten with destruction. And this is the time that we are coming into. This is the time that we are coming into. Right. This is the time we're going into. Why is this the time that we're coming into? Why is Esau establishing all of these things? Why is Esau pushing forth his agenda so heavy? This is why. Romans 12 and Revelation 12 and 12. It says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens. It says, and ye that dwell in them, woe unto the habitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you. Who is the devil? Esau, Edom, right? The central bankers, right? It says, the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. He know that his kingdom is almost through, and he don't want to let go of it. So he's what? He's pushing forth his agenda. All right. But what? It's the Lord doing it, though. It's the Lord putting the spirit on Esau to fulfill prophecy. It's the Lord doing it. The Lord is establishing these prophecies to come to pass. So Yahweh Shai can come back and deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. That's the order that's set up. So all of these things that are being pushed forth. All right. It's through the Lord. Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Because the Lord is fulfilling his prophecy. All right. The Lord is fulfilling prophecy. All right. So the Lord is intensifying. All right. He's intensifying his judgment. He's intensifying. Right. Because we're headed. We're in the last days. We've been in the last days since Yahweh came on the scene. So, hey, man, I really highly recommend you and really highly recommend you to follow Great Millstone Hebrew Israelites. Get this truth while you still can, because we don't have much too, too, too long and too much you know, too long, you know, much long to 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 get this truth. All right. And if you a brother that have not been laboring and you've been in the truth for six months and above, you better start doing your labors because we don't have that much time. You don't have that much time. All right. Again, you're not on your own fucking time. You're on the Lord's time. So ho hopefully the Lord willing, this is edifying. So, yeah, if you a Jake that's been in this truth or you just came into the truth. Now you better get as much as the truth as you can. Start studying, building up, and taking all the notes and start doing the work. Start laboring. Because, you know, we don't have much time. So, Lord 1 is that's edifying. Until next time I say, Shalom.